Hi everyone, it's Nini. Welcome back to my channel. Today, you guys, I'm going to be doing a review on the new NYX Can't Stop Myself Foundation. This is in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley, so congratulations to her. I picked this up a couple days ago, y'all, and I'm just now, actually probably been about a week ago now, and I'm just now getting to, like, getting around to filming the video. And I swatched it in the store and I didn't, like, like, I've never put it on my full face, so I, I just swatched it, like, right here in the store and it seemed like a pretty good match. So I'm hoping this is going to be my shade and yeah let's just go ahead and get right into the video right now <laughs> this foundation comes in 45 shades i picked it up in the shade mocha um because that's the one i swatched in the store but i did see a, a, like a few other shades that might would have worked for me or whatever but i just decided to go with mocha it's supposed to be long wearing like up to 24 hours um doesn't transfer non-comedogenic which means like it's not gonna clog your pores and it's for normal oily combination and sensitive skin type so i think i have like normal skin i do have like a little bit of like hyperpigmentation especially like on my neck y'all my neck is darker than my face and like the rest of my body anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and start applying the foundation okay that's it broke the little seal so i'm gonna take one from oh that's a big one Okay, I'll just do it like this. Quiet. Half of my face with the sponge and the other half with a brush. I'll do the brush first. I just got stuck because this looks so oh my gosh it doesn't have a smell it's lightweight I don't even see it is it on let's see I'm gonna have to do like two pumps because like I promise y'all I do not see this foundation on my face I'm just gonna bring it down to my neck because we want to blend oh my god Oh my god, y'all got the right shade. It dries down pretty fast. It looks so oh my god. I can't even get through this freaking review because this is the first time like this is literally like the first time I've ever felt like this about a foundation i've tried um maybelline superstay i got two bottles of that i have um what is it black radiance i have black opal this one looks good i love this that's no foundation and with the foundation Okay. okay, so I'm gonna take one more pump and do the other side with the sponge. Oh my gosh. Like, even just like the finish, like the way it looks, it doesn't look like, you know, like cakey or anything. It's not like, it's full coverage, but it ain't like thick. Like, girl, I can see it foundation it is definitely like a matte finish but it looks skin like it looks good like I am very I'm pleased already oh now I'm, I am gonna do like a wear test or whatever 
I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the day and I will come back tonight to let y'all know how oh what time is it? It's 409. So I'm gonna say I start applying I started applying this around like 405. Okay. This is how it looks with just the foundation. No concealer, no that I'm just happy. <laughs> I would normally like just apply it with my brush and then take my sponge and like go over it or whatever. But I'm liking how this looks. I wouldn't say like full coverage, but this is definitely nice, like medium. I'll say medium to full. It's probably buildable. I'm not gonna put any more on because I like how this looks. It looks good. Let's see. And it's really drying down like it looks like my skin I got a shade that matches me oh my god I'm so happy okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish like the rest of my face like I would like I normally would like can we just talk about how it looks right now like it's matte <sighs> it looks so skin like it looks good y'all this is y'all this is so the $14.99 I think it came to like $16 in total but like it looks so good y'all oh my god yeah, I can't stop looking at me <laughs> six hours later all right you guys so I am back with the foundation review it has been six hours it is exactly 10 30 right now and I think it was 10 not 10 4 24 when I left um when I left home early after I put like the foundation on or whatever and I've been outside in the heat I have cooked and I'm not really you know that oily like what I'm looking at like it's just a little bit of shine here but like that's it like nothing I have not touched my face at all I never even touch it because I don't have something to touch it with like blotting papers I, was, I don't have that stuff because I don't really get oily like that I am in love with this foundation it looks so good. It is like the right shade. It didn't oxidize. It looks so freaking good. Next, two thumbs up on this foundation. I love it. I definitely recommend it. You go and get it. They probably have your shade. I'm telling you, there was like 45. It literally is 45, but there's like a lot of shades for darker complexion people. If you are a chocolate girl like myself, but yeah. That's it for this review, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Pen of Some Pearls. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.